hello and welcome to my um tear down and review of this hp t420 thing client yep i got another one and yeah we'll tell you more about it right after the intro first of all this i'll tell you about the specs this machine has a 1 gigahertz dual core AMD G series CPU. Um, it has 2 gig gigabytes of RAM. It shipped with um, 8 gigabytes of storage, but I've upgraded that to 64 gigabytes. Because it uses USB 3.0 as its storage. So it's port selection, um, it's port selection, it has two USB 2.0s on the front, a headphone and mic combo, and then around the back it has a gigabit ethernet port, two USB 2.0s, a VGA output and a DVI output, as well as the power input jack, um, it's one of those blue tips. HP power adapters, and then we've also got our Kensington lock. So it's a bit smaller than the T520. In fact, I can get that for a comparison. So here I've got my HP T520 um, for comparison. So this is the next generation of this. So as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. Um, the T520 is a bit bigger than the T420. This is about the size of a Dell Wise um, CX0 or something like that. The T520 is also a bit taller um, and it has more ports and it uses a SATA M.2 SSD. Let's get into the teardown, which I've got a handy screwdriver <coughs> there for. Okay, let's get into the teardown. Unfortunately, I've got a handy screwdriver. So if we come around here, there's just two little Phillips head screws on the back to open it up with. One screw. And then the second screw and then you've got to push down on it and then it'll open just like that so here's our top cover <clears throat> so right here we've got our um, heatsink with the MD CPU under it as well as some of our RAM underneath it there's two of our there's two chips of RAM there there's our speaker, and then we've got a slot for a Wi-Fi card. Here's my USB drive and a USB 3.0 slot. I've had to basically break this USB drive open in order to actually get to fit in here. It won't fit big USB drives, it only fit little ones or broken ones. So. Here's the original one that came with it. That was just in there like that. And then over here we've also got our CMOS battery. And yeah, that's basically it. If you wanted to reset the BIOS, you would take this out power on the machine, power it off, plug it in again, and power it back on. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Now let's get it back together. A bit fiddly. Oh, 
unfortunately this screwdriver has magnets. So convenient. Screwdrivers without magnets are awful for um, doing anything with PCs. Um, coming along and watching my HP T5. Oh. So thanks for coming along and watching my HP T420 thin client review. We've got some more content coming up because we're in lockdown at the moment in New Zealand and um, I've got some Raspberry Pi P Pico stuff coming up. So that's going to be really exciting. Plus, I'll, I'll give you a spoiler. We've got a Windows Phone thing coming up, as well as a Windows XP thing coming up. So we've got lots of stuff planned and it's going to be great. So yeah, remember to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. Bye!